we old people so we got another one probably our favorite photographer so let's look at his feed so we've gone over it a few times now oranges on the right bluey greens in the middle nice deep blues and teals on the left so really really nice cohesive feed he's got uh his contrast is what i personally really like about his editing like the macness to the image the low contrast gives a really really cinematic feel to the image and i'd love that as well i also like his tones especially the warmer tones the oranges we're going to be working with uh, working with this image today so trying to get that silky smooth look those really nice tones uh, and that really nice contrast as well so make sure you come over and give them a follow guys and just let them know you found them through this tutorial let's see if we can create something like this all right, we got a screenshot over here, raw unedited image. So, so we're exposed really well over here in the settings, uh, 2.24 mil, so pretty wide, ISO 200, so low because it's nice and bright. And then the shadow will just be exposing the image correctly and 2.8 for that softening of the background. And it was shot on a Canon 24 to 70, 2.8. So just the cropping real quick here, you can see we just cut out all that dead space, four by five for Instagram. Uh, she's a bit more on the rule of third, and then we're just like including the bag maybe helps the story a bit more okay so yeah exposed really well here so we'll turn on the curves here and I'll just explain what they're doing so you can see how that makes the image a bit darker so we'll just up up the exposure a bit now like this curve obviously like a fade to the blacks here so delete those you can see how like we don't we wouldn't have a fade and we just have a wee fade now to these blacks. And then up here in the right, we have the little drop to the whites there. Bit of a darkening to the shadows for some contrast. And then in this curve, we, yeah, just put in a bit of a lift for a, maybe help with the fade, a touch of a fade in those blacks. And then a bit of a matte to the highlights and whites a bit there. So yeah, that's the reasoning for those adjustments. And then nothing in the color channels. It's the curves and you can see why that darkened our image a bit because we brought down the shadows and then this curve brought down the highlights that's why we had to bump up the exposure and darkened our image a bit let's move up here now i'm gonna add in some clarity because i think just the con like especially for the contrast it gives i feel like it's probably what he has done i want a bit of a pop to the image so i'm gonna bring up the whites contrast down shadows a bit and then like just to you can see how that just brings a bit of detail out of the blacks but what we will do in the colors is work with luminance a bit which will play a big role i'll just do it now so i reckon all these greens really shine so we're gonna bump up the luminance of the greens right up i think her blue jeans shine a lot so we're gonna grab the luminance of the blues and go right up and then there's not many aquas but we'll slide them up uh and then the oranges so we'll bring the oranges in but i think they also have a good shine to them so we're gonna bring up the luminance i'll just come back up here and just quickly bring up the saturation of all these colors Maybe some vibrance as well. Okay. We have some warm tones. So what I'm gonna do is to get the colors is really up the warmth. Just quickly knock down, say saturation of the greens, those yellows need to come down a lot. Just do it roughly for now. Uh, blues and that. Okay, now we get this warmth throughout the image and split toning i just want to like add in the blues that we see in the shadows here so so what i'll do is just pick a nice blue and then saturation quite a bit of blue you can see how that really helps us get the tone of the greens we want and then up in the sky we could do with some blue as well so over here pick the same color then we'll go for a bit of blue and that straight away gets our tones so then we can fine tune some tones as well 
And remember anyone inside the course has the raw image and the settings for this tutorial. So you just download it and you can follow along and just reset the image so you don't lose these settings. So you can build up your DNG collection of really nice edits. Yeah, so just like adding a bit more of like a, if you look at her skin tone and stuff like that, maybe I want a bit more of an orange. Yeah, and then saturation down a bit. Uh, greens down a bit more maybe three and then I'll just bring these down roughly in line with everything else and yeah I think we're about good I'd come down add a little bit of grain not much because it is very smooth don't do enable profile corrections sharpening is a smooth image I'd keep it reasonably low and we get plenty of sharpening from the clarity so probably don't need the sharpening from sharpening and yeah I don't think we need any brushes or filters if, okay so if we went say his image right here and then we go back to our image maybe a bit more pop especially like to this area you can see how we are a bit dimmer so I'm gonna come down to luminance and bump up the luminance the yellows give a nice shine and we are done for this one guys so if we go reset boom do it once more bang if we go reset after so you can see like he exposed the image really well and the changes are so subtle but make such a big difference like from the before and after image so subtle but so nice just that like real slight fade those nice balance of the tones the warm tones and the blue tones we could work on the skin tone a bit she she does have a bit of like purplish tone in her skin tones probably want more of an orange richness so maybe something like that so the main takeaways was probably the curves here creating that fade and nice matte clarity plays a pretty big role in the texture of the image whites popping exposure up i'd say warmth plays quite a big role and then obviously split toning plays a pretty big role as well there so yeah that's it for this one guys all right guys so if you want to learn everything about color like what i understand color because it's honestly super important when you're doing these tutorials to know everything there is to do with color free training down below and then obviously in the course we go really in depth into color it's basically a color course we go over how to balance colors how to create the exact color you want using the tools like curves you have to understand the curves really well to be able to use color in your images and then get the style you want to your images because you'll understand what i understand about doing these tutorials um how to look at an image know what it needs understand the tools really in depth so i know the difference between sliders curves and how those two tools interact with each other and how using tools together you can get a result that just isn't achievable any other way apart from having an in-depth understanding of the tools and how they interact with each other so if you want to get to the point of creating your own style your own brand online you, you're gonna have to know these principles color contrast if you want to buy presets be able to use those presets effectively and then change those presets to your own presets you need to know everything i cover uh, firstly in the free training down in the description and then in the course as well so and then also i get questions about is it for video color grade as well and yes 100 if you're only into video this is crucial for you as well i love video color grading it's the same concepts the same everything for this as well so go give them a follow check out the free training down in the description check out the course if you want to go to the next level and comment as always people you want to see on this youtube channel because then i can ask them to be a part of it and i can do more videos for you guys i mean if you guys really like these youtube tutorials you'll love the, the content of the course but you'll also get many many of the raw images we use for these youtube tutorials and you'll get way more out of these youtube tutorials if you're part of the course because personally i learned really quick by getting the raw images and i know you guys will too that's why i go to such an extent to get the raw images available so yeah 
thanks for watching guys catch you oh follow me on instagram as well i'll be posting much more especially when COVID opens up i'll be traveling a lot more the last year and a half i've just been trying to get this course and get this youtube channel to a place where i'm really happy with and then i can travel and create content and doing all the work now and then just be able to really easily help people by just setting myself up with a strong foundation like we've got something like 500 people over 500 people in the course now um everyone's loving it it's growing quickly yeah check out the course instagram page if you're interested as well and thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one